Hey guys, it's me again, Joe Wilson from Armorset, and I'm going to quickly show you some of the new features that we've added for Toolbag 205. First up is the GGX Reflectivity model, originally developed by uh, Disney, which can be enabled by switching from Blin Fong in the Reflection dropdown to GGX. There are two large differences between Blin Fong and GGX, the first of which is the tail or fall off of the specular highlight. There's a much smoother transition with GGX. Secondly is the gloss curve, or exactly which values in your texture map find how smooth or rough the surface is. It varies quite a bit from the standard Blin Fong model. GGX has become sort of the go-to reflectivity model for engines that have implemented physically based rendering solutions such as Unreal Engine 4, Crytek, and a variety of other engines. Speaking of the Unreal Engine, we've been focusing a lot of our effort on making it easy to set up and preview your art content in Marmoset Toolbag before sending it off to Unreal. The GGX reflection model gives a more accurate preview of what your work will look like, which means you can spend less time worrying about settings and calibrating the content itself. We've also added an Unreal 4 template to the Material Presets dropdown with everything set up to make it easy to load your maps, like the inverse option in the Gloss Map slot, which allows you to load a roughness map, the GGX model, and the Metalness model as well. This will allow you to load in your four basic maps, which are the Normal Map, the Roughness Map, the Albedo Map, and the Metalness Map. And now I'll switch over to Unreal, where I've set up a similar scene with the same um, basic lighting. You can see I'm using a very simple material with all the same texture maps as I had loaded in Toolbag 2 and they work quite nice here. It's not a 100% perfect match because we do a few things technically with our uh, direct lights and our image-based lighting that's just done a little bit differently, but the results are very close. As you can see as I switch to Toolbag 2 here, and then back to Unreal, and then to Toolbag 2 again. We've also implemented a global scene scale and unit conversion feature, which can be adjusted in the scene object property. This feature can be used to correct the scale of your object, for instance, if it imports in too large or too small, which is especially important when dealing with the skin shader, as certain settings such as the shadow blur are directly tied to the object's scale. There are a couple of dropdowns to convert units, for instance, if you've modeled in centimeters but want to use meters as your unit space when working in Toolbag 2, you can do that very quickly. We've also added a world space toggle to the transformation widget. As you can see right now, I'm editing this object in world space mode. You can switch it back to local space by hitting Control T and Control T again to switch back to world space. This setting can also be changed through the edit menu as well. That does it for the main features that we've added for the 205 update. We've added a variety of smaller features and bug fixes as well, including a recent files menu. The xnormal tangent space has been significantly improved. We fixed the bug that was causing slow file loads with high resolution meshes. So feel free to load in extremely high polygon meshes, either from ZBrush or your 3D modeling package as Toolbag 2 can support very dense meshes. Make sure to visit our site for the full change log, as well as more information about Toolbag 2 and SkyShop, tutorials, artist features, and all sorts of other cool stuff. This has been Joe Wilson from Armorset. Thanks for watching.